if i want to refer or if i want to access any information which is stored in the memory how can i access according to the c++ structure of a program at the beginning we are going to have documentation section the name itself indicates that the value is going to change or vary during the execution of the program hello to all a warm welcome to my new session on data types i am revathi faculty department of computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence as we know in today's topic is data types so what is data type why i require data types what is the need these are the certain things we are going to study under data types instead of wasting much of time let's move on to the agenda of today's session that is introduction that means at the beginning we are going to have the introduction then we are going to study about what is variable and how to declare the variable and how to initialize the variable so what is variable and why i require variable before that let me to explain the basic building block of c++ program if i consider any c++ program i must have certain basic building block in that the data type is plays very important role so dear student if i write any c++ program then i must have the basic building blocks like variable and data types so the variable and data types plays very important role in c++ programming so here the c++ provides a set of data types to handle the data dear student consider the example that consider my name consider my age consider the subject which i am going to handle so these are the different different kinds of data and all these datas are in different different types in order to handle these kind of data i require data types so the c++ provides a set of data types to handle the data and that data is used in the program or that data is used by the program so let me to explain what is variable first think that i have one bag or i have one container for that container i can able to place all the things for example think that i want to buy some vegetables where i'm going to place i'm going to place all the vegetables inside the bag now the bag is capable to hold different different kinds of vegetables for example tomato or potato or onion so these are the variety of vegetable and where i am going to place all these vegetables inside the bag similarly if i consider variable it's nothing but the container then i can able to store different different kinds of data inside the so here the variable is an object or element and it is allowed change during the execution of the program so dear student just remember that as the name itself indicates that variable that means the value can be vary that is nothing but the the value which is stored in the variable can be vary during the execution of the time that means it's not the fixed value that means whatever the value i'm going to store inside this container the value can be vary that means i can able to place all the values inside the variable 
So what is variable here? Here variable is nothing but the object or it is an element and it is can able to change during the execution of the program that means whatever the value which is stored inside the variable that can be changed during execution. So the variables are represents the name of the memory location. So why I required variable here in order to represent the memory location that means if I want to represent any memory location then I must have variable. Now consider the example that I have data type called int and I am going to define the variable a and I am going to assign the value 10. Now as the definition says variable represents the name of the memory location. We all know that all the data or informations are stored in the memory location. Now, what is my memory location name? That is nothing but the A. And what is the value? I have 10 and I am going to store in the memory location. Now, what is variable? Here, variable is nothing but the name of the memory location that means if I want to refer or access 10 how can I access that is with the help of a I can able to access 10 that means here a is nothing but the variable and it is mainly used to represent the name of the memory location moving further how can I declare the variable? That means declaration of variables and how can I declare it? And what are the rules I want to follow during declaring variable? So here we know that variables are the object. That means whatever the value, the variable holds that can be changed during the execution that means values are continuously varying. So what is the general syntax I am going to have here that is first I want to write the type of data along with the variable name. For example think that I have one plastic bag. So what kind of bag? It is plastic bag. So here plastic is nothing but the data type and whatever the vegetable I am going to place inside the plastic bag that is nothing but the variables or variable name. So the type of bag is called data type and variable names are the things which I am going to place inside the plastic bag is called variable name. If I transfer this example to C++ program then I am going to have the data type that is nothing but the integer. So not only the integer data type I am going to have float, double, long, character or string. Here I am going to consider only the integer data type. So what is data type? Here int is my data type and I am going to write the variable name. Then what is the syntax for declaring of a variable? That means what is the syntax I want to follow while declaring the variable? That is first I want to write the data type. That means which type of data I am going to use and the name that means what is the variable name. So here the variable name is an identifier. So what is identifier here? Here identifiers are the name given to the programming element. I repeat here the identifiers are the name given to the programming element. For example think that if you want to identify 
me, then how you are going to identify by my name or by the subject I am going to teach. Based on that, you are going to identify me. Similarly, if I want to identify the variable, how can I identify? That means I want to specify some particular name. So here identifiers are nothing but the programming element. That is nothing but the name given to the programming element. So what is variable here? Here variable is nothing but the identifier. And what kind of value I can able to store? That is constant value or arrays, functions, structures class and files. That means what are the different kinds of variables I can able to use here. That is nothing but the constants. That is nothing but the fixed value or arrays. That is array of character or array of numbers, functions, structures, class and files. So variables are named storage location. That means if I want to refer or if I want to access any information which is stored in the memory, how can I access? The way here is I can able to use the variable. That means the variables are mainly used to represent the memory address. So the variables are named storage location. That is, if I have number is my variable and it is 100, then in the memory, I can able to place 100. And if I want to read or access 100, then how can I access? That is with the help of numbers. So, the variables are named storage location whose value can be manipulated during run. That means it is not the fixed value and we can able to vary or we can able to modify the variables value during the program execution. So here the name itself indicates that it is variable. That means the value can change randomly. So it is called variable and some of the examples for variables are register number, marks, name, student number or student 1, date of birth. These are the some of the example for valid variable. Then how can I initialize the variable? So these are the steps used to initialize the variables. So initializing a variable. The syntax to initializing variable. That means how can I initialize the variable? Still now we studied how to declare the variable. After declaring what's my next step that is how to initializing the variable. So at the beginning, I'm going to have the data type, then I'm going to have the variable name and I'm going to have the value. So example here, I can take roll number that is of type integer equal to 101. So here integer is my data type and what is the variable name? That is roll number and 10 is the value. Now consider the example here that is int b equal to 100. So what is variable name here? That is b. And what is 100? Here 100 is nothing but the value. And if I consider this example, I'm going to get two values. And what kind of values? That is l value and r value and where name of the variable is p. So what is the name of the variable here? It is p values assigned to variable is 100. That means what is the variable name? It is p and 
what kind of value I'm going to assign. It is integer value and what is the value? It is 100. So here 100 is nothing but the R value. If I consider the example int p equal to 100 and what is the R value? That is nothing but the 100. And memory address location is 2000. That is L value. So dear student, if I consider computer system, all the data are stored in the memory and each memory locations are identified by the address. And if I use variable, the variable name is mainly used to represent the address location along with the variable I am going to have particular memory address. So if I consider the example p equal to 100 so think that this is your p and it is going to point first memory location and 100 is stored in the first memory location and what is the address of p it is 2000 so here 2000 itself called l value so if i consider any variable and the variable holds two value that is r value and l value in that r value is always going to represent the actual value and L value is mainly used to represent the memory address. So dear student, what is variable? Here variables are nothing but the object and as the name itself indicates that the value varies during the execution of the program. So the name itself indicates that the value is going to change or vary during the execution of the program. To illustrate the use of variable, let me to consider the simple example. What's the simple example I'm going to take? That write a program to find the sum of two numbers. So what is my Example here, write a program to find the sum of two number. Now, dear student, tell me the structure of C++ program. So, according to the C++ structure of a program, at the beginning, we are going to have documentation section. So, what is documentation section? Here, we are going to use documentation section in order to write the description about the program. So in the documentation section we are going to have two type of documentation that is single line comment and multi line comment. That means if I have only one line of description then I can able to use single line comment. If I have more than one line, then I'm going to have multi-line comment. But according to the program, I required only single line comment. And I'm going to write the description. That is program to find the sum of two numbers. So what is the description? Program to find the sum of two numbers. And what is my next statement? That is, I'm going to include the header file. That is, hash include io stream dot h. Then I'm going to include hash include 
con io that is console input output header file first one is input and output stream and second header file is console input and output then i'll write main program according to the c++ i can able to have only one main program and the actual execution of the program is going to start from main program and what is void here that means the main function that does not returns any value so void in the sense it won't return any value for that reason i have written void main then i'll start with the curly brace that means according to the syntax or structure i want to start with the curly brace then what is my first line there is nothing but the variable declaration according to the program how many variables i required i required two variables plus to store the result i required one more variable so what i will do i will take a b i sum i will take a b i sum then what kind of data it is it is whole number that is nothing but the number to represent number i'm going to have integer data type so what is my data type here it is int then how many variables i have a b i sum so what i want to do i want to initialize the variable so what is variable name here a b i sum now i want to initialize the variable so i will write 10 it is 20 then sum now what i want to do i want to perform the summation so i'll write sum equal to a plus b that means add 20 and 10 and store the result in the variable called sum now sum holds the value 30 now i want to display how can i display to display i'm going to use see out i'll write the message that is sum of two numbers sum of two numbers that is equal to then i'll write sum so sum of two numbers equal to sum then i will close my curly brace before that i'll write the get char that means to display the output i required console input or to display the output i required console output for that reason i am having console input and output header file so what is get character that means get the character and print the character on the screen so what's the meaning of get character here the meaning of get character is get the character and print it on the screen okay this is all about the c program now according to the chapter we are going to focus on variable so what are the two different types of variables i used a b along with that to store the result i used sum and what kind of data type it is it is nothing but the integer now according to the definition what is variable here variables are the objects or the element so how many variables i have i have three variables i'll start with a b and sum 
So what's the value for A? It is 10 and value for B, it is 20. Then what about sum? Here, the memory is reserved for sum. After performing summation, whatever the result we are going to get, that is stored in the memory location called sum. Now, what is the use of sum? Here, sum holds some memory location in the sense some points, some memory location, but some does not contain any value. Then when the sum is going to get the value in the sense, after performing addition operation, whatever the sum we are going to get, that is stored under sum called 30. Now, how can I point memory address or how can I access the variable or how can I access the value which is stored in the memory that is with the help of variables. That means if I want to access 10, how can I access that is with the help of A. And if I want to access 20, how can I? That is with the help of B and for 30 it is sum. So here variables are mainly used to hold the memory address. That means each memory is identified uniquely. That means each memory addresses are identified uniquely. Along with the variables, each memory location is addressed or identified by the value. For A, what is the memory address? It is 2000. For B, it is 2004. For some, it is 2008. Now, if I want to access the value 10, how can I access that is with the help of variable A or with the help of address 2000. And if I want to access value 20, how can I? That is with the help of value B or with the help of address. What is the address here? It is 2004. And if I want to access the value 30, how can I? That is with the help of sum or with the help of memory address that is 2008. This is the way we can able to use the variables. So what is variable? Here variable is nothing but the name given to the memory location. So dear student, in my today's session, we studied what is variable, how to declare the variable and how to initialize the variable. I hope in my today's session you got more information about data types. Let's meet in the next session with some more information about data types. Until then, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.